Welcome back, everybody, to the Warlow Espen Space Torment Tessin Numenera. Episode 101. 101. That's a lot of episodes, I'm just saying. So, last time we finished up in the Crystal Caves and went out, and we found the cultists were actually uh, our enemies, and though they did a lot of damage to us, we actually won that fight. And then we came back here, to uh, touched these tongues, and realized we can actually talk to the uh, the place uh, a little bit and open the uh, this oh. door over here, allowing us to go to a different area, or maybe some area we've been to before. Let's find out. <gasps> Where is this place? As you emerge from the trade post, you hear a sharp and take a breath. The two merchants you met uh, earlier are staring at you in amazement. That great jaw and the the teeth, they're gone. The portly human beams at uh, you. Was this uh, what you're doing? If it was, you have your uh, our deepest thanks. Indeed. The Virginia ducks its head. Trade awaits us in the ascension place. We should go before the balloon th thing tries to eat us again. Yes, yes. You who knows is his friend. But it's still damn not impressive. Eh? I thought the boom would answer to the Memvora. Where is she when we need her help? Hiding in the Nerd Fortress. That's where. Oh no. Take your time. Hey, sup. Grizzler squints at you. You speak at her, to her, didn't you? To the bloom, I mean. And she, uh, and listened? No one of the men will, wants to get rid of him. Maybe the villain will listen to those who warrant attention. Oh, Chris, uh, Crystal Parks left. Maybe so. I like your confidence, but others around here might uh, not. See, there ain't ain't nobody else who can talk to the boom like that, except maybe the Memvora, and she don't do, uh, she don't enjoy in competition. If you catch any. My meaning. He chugs. And the lopsided grin returns. And what can I do for you? I know all about the bloom and her maws. Mm. Nothing. You guys gonna trade anything now? Nope. You're not gonna do anything. Fair enough. Let's see if we can trade with these guys. Because I need to actually get rid of a. Uh, couple uh ciphers but which ones do I not want or care about you need a crystal bar for energy damage healing and so I do I actually already have this power range attack 12 relativistic damage first charm pistol to 45 mm-hmm there's a whole bunch of stuff. Acid. Drop stuff. Armor. Damage. They drop some of their persistence. The one is aimlessly never attacking wall. And cure is active. Hmm. What do you got, you guys? You have anything good? No, we want you to keep that. Uh, damage and yeah, physical damage to all characters in range. This actually would be a perfect one to sell because it doesn't do a lot of damage. Uh, protected armor. Stem for a non combat task. Mental damage. Here's Fog of War in the current area. Don't really care about the Fog of War. I don't care about. All right, I know which ones I'm selling now. Look out below, above, sideways. All right, hey, need. Let me see your wares. Uh, Callus Siege. We want to get rid of this one and this one. I think that was one of the first ones I ever got. So also, don't need all these extra stuff that don't do anything
Alright. That's good enough. We always want to keep a little plethora of items that we can sell later on. Alright. Now, just play musical chairs with the different ciphers. Show armor. I'll give you the armor. Actually, no. You want the armor to go to our meat shield. And energy damage, you can take that. There. Perfect. Of course. Yes, it's blood loss. Okay, that's because you passed out. All right, I do need to take a nap. I'm not sure what will happen, but characters yes. need to rest. Because they are damaged quite a bit. Yes, now. Yes, now. I'm sure after I sleep, the caravan will be moved on to. So we can check with that real quick. See what that up with that. Well, of course, I'm attacked right now, which is always possible. I would prefer not to be attacked because I kind of need the healing. If you want a job done right. If you want a job done right, make someone else do it because you're terrible. Coming. All right. What's up? Uh, let's sleep here. Of course. Lovely. There. Now we're not. I feel better. Me too. The characters I'm are not going. dying horribly. And now they don't have any, any uh, bad status effects either. On it. All right. I just wanted to uh, before I do the main mission. I want to check the caravan, see if it's moved on, and if they have anything neat to sell. Let's go. Yeah, they have moved on. Alright. Let's continue. Go. See where they're going? Because they did sell, uh, say I can buy stuff from them afterwards. So I want to see what they have to sell. With alacrity. Good. Commit with your contact with the ascension. And it gives us new uh, set of, uh, Bobbles. You move the one displayed a case that contains an array of crystalline artifacts, each of which appears unique. Now we sell them for a ridiculous price to the wealthiest families of Sidges, but for you, a discounted rate. Can you tell me a little bit more about your trading partner, Ascension? That's in part more of a uh, floating megalith. Finishes the Virgilian. Ponderous stone and glittering uh, scales, but all one, all one being, a single in intelligence. You pa we pass through the gate, search for a uh, familiar form. The Virgilian puts his hands against uh, around its eyes and mounts the throw and carefully scan. Right to left, hard to find. Na never exactly the same. You and nods. Once we find the thing, we try offering it a vari variety of chemicals and powders. Sometimes it accepts them, absorbs them. Anyway, in return, it uh. Excrete interesting things with useful properties most of the time. He snor uh, snorts uh, dismissively. It's a strange business we're in. Alright, let's trade. Let's see what you got. Next, automatic succeed and extra persuasion, deception, and intimidation. Interesting. Crystal Ford ne negates the effect of its tears and range attacks. Interesting. Plus uh, 15 to uh, an attacks. Ornament, huh? Ornament. I don't have an ornament. Not yet. And a plus 15 is pretty useful. Plus 4 resistance. Deals 5 chemical to, to enemies during, during their turn in, in the immediate range. Interesting. Huh. Well, it's uh, six uh, might and speed, and a minus ten in terry toss, but massive amounts of armor and resistance. Nah, I don't really need that. But, none of my characters have ornaments. 
No. So. I think a plus 15 attack to me would be a good idea. Unless I have an ornament I didn't realize I had, which is possible. Uh, opponent item, usable. Oddity. Uh, what does this call to? Charmer resistance. Let's do resistance when damaged by blah blah blah. Spear show invasion after. Hmm. Plus 20 movement, 2 armor and resistance. Hmm. Doesn't prove my um, evasion if I'm attacked by elemental damage. But it's a resist only 2 resistance. I think this is actually a better one, personally. Uh, let's see what else. Yay, the shopping episode. I'm sure there was a button to like organize these things. It's another thing we can uh, do to optimize this game. Nothing much I can really do with any of these. Alright. No, I don't have any ornaments, which is surprising. So, plus 15 to attack from me. Looks good. And I want the four resistance and five chemical damage to anyone who enters this area to my meat shield. Do I look dashing or smashing? Smash dashing? Smashing? I don't know. Still need a one more ornament. Ornaments. Ornaments and bonded items, but yeah, this works. All right. So, first I want to check something out because I'm really curious what this does. Deep black metal gauntlet twinkles uh, like the stars in the night sky. A hum emanates from its uh, surface. When you touch the metal image, images flash through your mind. Too quickly for you to make sense of them. Examine the gauntlet. Mill is made from uh from is not iron or steel, but something more fantastic th than the metals of the ninth world. Otherwise it appears to be a normal gauntlet. You notice a crust of dry blood around the inside. You call a story link to the gauntlet that was involved in a, in a string of myster mysterious murders. Each victim was uh, seen sporting a single black uh, gauntlet for a while, then later uh, found dead, strangled and uh, missing a hand. A group called the God Club or something along the, uh, those lines was mixed up uh, with it. Anyone who wears the gauntlet is overwhelmed with the sudden excruciating pain as the gauntlet actually consumes the hand and takes its place. Some victims find they cannot remove the gauntlet, others can. But when they take it off, there is nothing but a stump underneath. Replacing the gauntlet over the stump causes it to re reattach and function fully as the old hand. Pay close attention to the images. You place your hand on the gauntlet again, focusing your mind on the images. It gives you their their click again, just vague impressions of gauntlet previous wearers. You see a shadow in the dark. The gauntlet is holding a barbed knife in one hand, and then pouncing on a, his victim. One puts up the gauntlet in her hand and screams. The vigilant fights against the mob of uh, seven, a gauntlet wielding a wicked mace, just before. He dies. Hmm. Interesting. So what does the gauntlet do? If I put on a gauntlet, it'll take my hand. Does that mean I'll lose my hand? Because that's what it wants says, but I also have stupid regeneration about powers too. But it also makes murdery. Hmm. Fuck it. I'm curious. A moment you slip your fingers into the glove, the gauntlet bites down on your arm. It feels like a million, million razors sliding up and down your arm, flaying your skin. Then the muscle, then the bone. It's so bad that you pass out. 
from the pain. When you wake, the gauntlet lies on the ground and your hand has regrown. Seeing your regenerative abilities are stronger than the gauntlet's hunger. Even so, you feel some of the gauntlet's power in your newly regrown hand. Uh, let's see. Took five damage. Whatever. Probably gained one uh, speed pull. Maximum speed pull is now 13. Alright. Leave it alone then. Alright. Yes. So actually that was good because of my regeneration ability. Coming. Alright. So they said go back in here. And they said if I have the um, floaty thing that's off in this direction. Gladly. Over here. If we give it things, it'll give us random objects and stuff, which is interesting. All right. What do you have? Zombie's presence. Oh, because I messed it up, pissed it off. It won't As talk to me. Wish. Oh well. I tried. Unless it was this thing. Naturally. We shouldn't piss that thing off earlier. No, nothing goes. Nothing. All right. Crystal area is done. Now we go to the Menvor area, I think. Let's go. We had to give the other guy the object first, of course. But then I'm pretty sure the Menvor area is next. Yes, I assume. Because that's the only area can, uh, that's left. Go. Good. Alright, let's continue. Below. Above. Sideways. Got some cool objects. All right. Made sure that nothing else was, could be done. And now the next area. Mm-hmm. 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 Going to direct the blood and blood. The Virginia God really remains in blood. Alright. Uh Dracon. Alright. Dracon? I don't know. So Well, cast off. What news have you? Have you managed to attain the cortex? Or are you ready to surrender the annulets? Hmm. Would you accept the court check that we discussed earlier in place of the annulet? I'll remember that. Oh yes, that would indeed be sufficient. Should you manage to attain it, it would uh, certainly be a fine substitution for the annulet. But I have my doubts. I have tried to and failed to acquire it before. I'll remember that. The agents I employed previously were no, not up to the task. This was an occasion of great purpose to me. They were tough, capable explorers, and I thought them more than sufficient to the job. If you gain access to the Encrypta and the Cortex, I suggest that you employ a gull before violence. I would hate to see the fail. you fail as uh, they did. Alright. If they were within my power to answer, if they do not come with the prize. Ask away, my friend. Hmm. That's then. I got the thingy. I brought the cortex and wish to trade in place of the enemy. Sweet levels. His smile disappears as he considers your words. He looks his lips nervously and places his hand to his forehead, forehead as if he were suddenly stricken uh, with a headache. If he uh, were communicating, he looks up after a brief moment. His smile is returning, though not nearly as wide. Your words are wise. I will accept. He places it into, uh, into a flat pouch of his uh, at his hips and no shapes distorts the pouch as if the 
it were more were merely a gateway to some larger place. Acceptable, but not ideal. Take it. There will be other opportunities. Uh, okay. This concludes our part of the transaction. Let me honor mine. Come with me. Doop, doop, doop. Where are we going? I believe we're now in the fortress of the Menvora. If I would uh, hazard a guess. Oops. Yep, seems like it. I'm gonna die in a short order. I prefer to level first before I talk to the Menvora. Can I level? No. Menvora. The Menvor is a medium-sized wild woman, regal and bearing. She uh, scrutinizes you with a look of that managed to convey both admiration and disdain. So he escaped Malavas. A shame he chose to come here. Though her words are cul cultured, her voice is rough. Perhaps an artifact of low uh, upbringing. Dracon was a evasive in his praise for your skills. I've been following your movement myself. You moved the tray post out of the depth. There are very, very few people who can manage such a feat. Boom has certainly turned against me. If he can do what I could not. Your eyes are piercing as uh, they sweep across you. I dealt with Cassos before, of course. I found your your kind to be tenacious, resourceful, and skilled. And I know the one you're. I know the one you are looking for. I can tell uh, you where she is hiding. What do you want in return? So untrusting, so un so wise. She chuckles. I understand that the first cast up has been uh, hidden from your kind for over a century. That you thought she was dead. Well, now that I have no qualms about betraying her, the case uh, cuss will be steep. I've lost many, uh, someone, an important member of my organization. You've no doubt heard of the uh, recent changes in in the bloom. Perhaps you have uh, even heard of the rumor that it has turned against me. To some extent, that is true. Ashen is a victim of the betrayal. She looks at the force added. Ashen was my best scholar, a genius with the new Monera. Through my own uh, means, I've divined that it's, he still lives. But I cannot reach him. The bloom has taken Ashen to its heart. I've lost more than men than I care to think about while trying to cover him. As the cast off, however, you have a certain advantage my minions do not. Her tone becomes curt. With the, with the re fluctuation of the bloom loyalty, I'm no longer, I no longer know the path to, uh, to reach the heart. I suggest you talk to someone who knows the bloom well. If you cannot discover the way yourself, I can lower afford to send someone who isn't otherwise expendable. Hmm. Hmm. First is powerful if you tell me where she is. I'm sure together we can rescue Ashen more easily. Her laughter rings throughout the fortress for uh, like a death knoll. Oh, she is powerful. Of that I have no doubt, cast off. I'm sure she will not be uh, as helpful to you as you think. Her smile disappeared as quickly as it arrived. I do apologize if I give the impression that this was a discussion. Her voice uh, hardens. I have made my offer. Rescue my friend from the bloom's heart, and you shall have the location of your precious first. Fail, and you will not. You will not. Do uh, I make myself clear? Her voice returns to uh, ordinary tones. Now, if you excuse me, I have an organization to maintain. Updated my journal. She addresses the guards. See, Kassoff doesn't get lost on his way out. Fine. See if I talk to you. Care. Meany face. At least I'll be able to level. Doop, doop, doop. That's the name of the feeling that you have. Well, Action. that I was help. interesting, I guess.
Forward. Onward. That's all. Ooh. New tier for me. Extra effort? Yes. Need rest. Choose abilities to learn. Hmm. Start for start scanning mind control. Uh Hedge magic. At succeed in the next quick uh, fingers or smashing task. Huh. Oh, negative tails. Energize. Space working pulse push pulse creatures. Adaptation protect armor. Driver feel. Play experience refuse a critical hit with it. Big force preferring disrupted on top of normal effects of this ability. Hmm. When you kill an enemy, immediately make a bonus attack against the nearest enemy in range without moving. Plus both melee and range attack. Hmm. I do like this ability. Because I kind of sometimes uh, don't have someone to do that. I get plus one bonus each level or for apply to perception. Hmm. Stereo attacks. Do use a lot of esoteric attacks. Rather, it helps you focus your more esoteric attacks. And use almost all exclusively esoteric attacks, so. Allows you to carry additional ciphers. Barely use ciphers, if ever. Don't remember even using a cipher once. Hmm. Don't really. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna go with these two. That should help. And then uh, next level. Uh. Tiber. You're more of my. Speed guy now. Confirm. Now I'm ready for anything. I won't say anything, but you're better off. And you. Eridus. You're more of my might shield kind of guy. Increased edge on might. Stories will be told of this day. Good. That should be good. And that should be good for this episode. Next time we'll actually go to the Bloom's Heart, I believe. I have no idea where that is, but we'll find it. Figure that out. So until next time, forever press the chaos so you go mad. Bye.